perfect. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, thanks for being here. Where are we right now? We are at Ground Hub's headquarters in Southeast Portland. Perfect. And how did you guys meet? We met about seven years ago working at an ethical fashion brand and I had a vision to start an employment training program and empower women. And thankfully I met Carol who was making delicious nut butters and we brought the two together. Perfect. And what's going on at the warehouse today? Today's Tuesday. It's a big day for production. Today is our first day we're trying out two mixers, trying to double our production. So we're very excited. We're gonna pass on through. We've got a full team in house. Yeah, we'll Perfect. give you a little peek at what's going on in the kitchen. We can't go in there without hearing us. So um, you can take a look. We've got lots, lots of folks at the filling machine over here. And then we've got finished mixing for now, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Great, and, then, and what's happening over here? This is our amazing fulfillment corner, so where all the magic happens for all the online orders going out. So Judy is master packer over <laughs> here. So each order is packed with love and taken to USPS down the street. This is all Judy and work. Yes, all in day's work. Mm -hmm. Great, and what was the first flavor at Ground Up? The first one was our coconut cardamom. Shout out to Brie who helped us come up with that. Great. And then what's your dream nut butter flavor? You can make it as outrageous as you want. Ooh, yeah, my dream was an Oregon hazelnut with cranberries. So maybe coming soon. <laughs> and mine we actually used to make. It's a smoked honey and raisin, but turns out people don't love raisins or things with smoke in the title. We so. didn't know. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we'll have to look out for those soon. Yes. And what's behind you? Yeah, so we're headed here. We've got our jobs board. So this is a really great way to keep our team inspired as women are graduating from our training program and looking for permanent opportunities. So we're also always posting new jobs coming up in Portland. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And what's inspiring you both in life right now? Definitely our hardworking team. We have an amazing team of women who come to work every day with a smile on their face in spite of whatever's going on in their lives. And that definitely keeps us going. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm also inspired by this accelerator program that I'm a part of right now called Red F for other social enterprise businesses across the country. So it's great to know that we're not alone in some of the challenges that we face and also share in the successes together. For sure. Yeah. We'll show you our office now. Great. Come on up. So what was the most recent book you finished? Ooh, um, I just finished Crying in H Mart, which I highly recommend. And I just finished Atlas of the Heart by Brené Brown, who is my fave. I've read all her books and pod <laughs> listened to all her podcasts. And it's funny you ask that because we're coming up on our library. This is a shared shelf for everyone at the team to add to and pull from whenever they want a new book to read. Nice. Mm -hmm. And what's over here in this corner? This is our break space, so awesome place to build community and connect with one another. Um, we've got lots of snacks and drinks, um, and as well here we have our training program board, so this is where we stay up to date with the different workshops that we have coming up, as well as possible field trips, milestones that people are celebrating, and then we've got a ton of resources in Portland for people, along with lessons and activities people can do to grow. Perfect. What's one way that you both decompress after work? I like going for walks with my dog. It just gets my mind off things, so it is a good transition. And I love going for a run or really doing anything that gets me outside. Perfect. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your entire life? Probably backpacking through Southeast Asia and doing different flipping opportunities. Wow. For me, mine was living in Uganda and East Africa. And that inspired Ground Up, didn't it? Yes, it did. That was a huge part of the vision for the mission. Perfect. What's one thing you wish you knew at age 19? I mean, that everything will work itself out. I felt like I had to figure out my entire career at that age, and I did not. It has taken many evolutions and will probably continue to do so. Yeah. Yeah, I would say be more 
more gracious with myself and knowing that a lot of things are gonna come and just taking it one day, one week at a time and just finding people that you can learn from and not being afraid to, to ask questions and feel like you have to know something. Nice, should we head to your conference room? Yeah. Let's do it. Come this way. Come on in. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Probably AOC, because that would just be fascinating, or Beyonce, because like, why not? <laughs> Ooh, stole mine. Beyonce <laughs> would be a great time. <laughs> Welcome to our beautifully decorated office. <laughs> great, great. I see some nut butter pattern in the back. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And how do you balance work and life? That is not an easy one as an entrepreneur. I think a big thing for me is having people who keep me accountable in my life and help me like end the day with work and switch to relaxing and enjoying. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what's one piece of advice you have for women entrepreneurs who might be starting out? Surround yourself with people who know more than you and are willing to help you along the way. You'd be nowhere without some of the mentors and consultants we've brought on. And I would say be persistent. That is such a huge reason that we got where we are today. Not taking no for an answer. Women entrepreneurs have a lot more hills and battles to fight. So knowing that one closed door, more like 10 closed doors, <laughs> um, will lead to an open door. And that's really how we got where we are today with Ground Up. Well, that's great advice. Thank you both for tuning in. Yeah. Should we show you our desk? Yes. What are three things you can't live without? Three things I can't live without. Mm, nut butter, of course. Um, also, don't mind me. I'm just going to hop on. I kind of can't sit still, so I've got my little stationery. Go bike. for it. Um, also, a pair of shoes that I can run and walk around in. And my Kindle. I love reading and transporting it to someone else's world. Amazing. Let's head to the other desk. Yeah, I'll show you my spot over here. What's three words to describe living in Portland? Weird, um, inspiring, and green. Perfect, and what's your favorite nut butter snack? Ooh, I love making banana and ice cream with our classic smooth flavor. All right, I think that is all of our time for today. Thank you guys Yay. so much. Thanks for hanging out.